What is going on, everybody? Back on at One Piece 477. Um, it seems like there's a little bit of a debate, or maybe there's not enough information to where I'm currently at in the story to get an answer that doesn't involve spoilers or things, as far as how Okaji was specifically able to dodge that like hockey infused attack from Whitebeard. Um, and I've also gotten just conflicting reports of like, I can't know yet. Okaji created the hole in his chest. Um, and then also Whitebeard is just out of his prime and wouldn't hit. I'd like to not think it's that one that Whitebeard's just too weak. Um, because if that's the case, then like you can drop this down to 1% as far as them having any success. Like if that was truly the case, like he's just too weak to even hit, make contact with a Logia Devil's Fruit user, then we had no business showing up here in the first place. You know, I understand that he's a little bit slower reaction time. He's got a disease and all those type of things. But if we're that hindered, drop this shit down to like negative 5% <laughs> chance that they have to actually succeed here. Um, and it's interesting because we've seen them make contact. So like he would have to pre, I don't know. It's kind of hard to think about because we've seen Rayleigh, we've seen Marco, we've seen Whitebeard, I think. You know, maybe we haven't seen Whitebeard up to this point, but we've seen people that possess hockey have been able to make physical contact garp i uh i guess he does, luffy doesn't really count but he did negate his rubber so maybe but we've seen people that have some type of understanding of hockey be able to hit people that others without it haven't been able to do um but it's like how far in advance would okaji have to like activate a hole in his chest because we've seen people make physical contact with them with hockey so it's like, I don't know if the hockey like cancels the devil's fruit ability or just gives you the ability to hit them. But like we've seen them make physical, like hockey, Logia, I make contact with you. If it's, if it's under the umbrella of like it turns it off. If like when I touch you and it's turned off, you can't then activate the hole to have it go through. So... As a Logia user, do you just have to make that, as you see an attack coming, you have to like pre, like make that hole. <laughs> because as soon as he makes physical contact with you, your ability to phase essentially is canceled out. So he had to make that hole way in advance before the attack comes or he's going to cancel out your... So I don't know, there's a lot of specifics on that. What it actually is that happened, I don't really have an answer on up to this point. Um, and then Garp has had enough, I assume. I, so what is he like? Let's speed up my, you know, grandson's execution. Let's get this over with already. Um, I'd be curious if he if he actually would physically stop Luffy. I could see him like maybe punching Luffy once or punching Luffy twice, but we know Luffy's not gonna stop. Would he actually harm Luffy? Like I'm talking really fuck him up. Um, I guess we'll find out. Guess we will find out. I mean, shit, we keep talking about, you know, Rayleigh's not what he used to be, and neither is Whitebeard. Garp's, but, but Garp has looked to be in the best shape of the three that we've seen so far. Um, ooh, Shiki the Golden Lion, the one that escaped the prison. Mmm. I really do want to see Garp and Goku in action. Probably more so Goku, because Garp has been built up as far as like, oh, because Garp, like he's out there in the field, he's active, we've seen him fucking shit up, and all these type of things. Garp seems like he's still got a little bit of juice in him. We know nothing about Goku, if he's if he ever was good, if he is good right now. Um, so I'm more interested in Goku, to be honest, because we already know Garp's still got some juice left in him. It's been hinted at for a long time, and the lore of Garp capturing Roger and doing this and doing that. Um... It's a lot. I'm more interested to see Garp. I mean, more interested to see Goku. But Garp does look... Of the old men that we've seen... <laughs> of course the executioners are knocked out. You could literally... <laughs> Story is crazy, bro. You could literally have anybody... It could be a random Marine. You could get Kobe to walk up there and execute it. Like, has to be the executioners. Goku, you could do it yourself if you wanted to. <laughs> They're dragging this shit out for story purposes. It's insane. It's actually insane. 
Oh, man. Ooh. I mean, that's one. You fucked up one. Yeah, I'd like to see Goku in action, though. Of the old men that, like, put fear into people, Whitebeard, Garp, Rayleigh. Garp seems to be the most that, like, still physically takes care of himself. Like, he's still eating right and in the gym. <laughs> um, but we'll see. Bro, Straw Hat Boy hasn't been able to fight since we've gotten here. He has He's mentally rallied the troops, if anything, if that counts. Which has been nice, I guess. I'd love to see, like... I'd love to see Ace somehow get out of this. Like, we don't see Ace get free of those handcuffs, but maybe we just see, like, crazy flames going in the background and shit, right? And we're like, oh shit, that's Ace. We know Ace somehow got free of the cuffs. You just see flames start going crazy across the entire battlefield. He's, like, melting Okaji's ice and shit. Mm-mm-mm. <sighs> and when you think about it, we still haven't really gotten much of an ace background, really. This is like the first little thing we've got. Like, when, when have we really gotten like a good ace flashback? Other than seeing him join Whitebeard's crew, as far as him being a little bit younger and stuff. It's like the first one we've gotten here. Yeah, we saw him and Luffy like fucking around for like 15 seconds, but I feel like I need I need more substance of Ace, you know? If he does get taken out, I feel like I want more substance of him. Whether I don't know how they do it. I guess it's got to be shown in flashbacks because he's currently captured. Um but I'd like to see some more. So this is a good start here. And at this point did he know that Roger was his father? When did he know? Did he, did he always know? Like, as soon as he was conscious enough to think? Three, four, five? That sounds like the sumo wrestler kid with that has the big black cleaver. She looks like the uh, mermaid woman. I'm assuming at this point he knew. <laughs> Why did you exhale that cigarette like that? Yeah, we're gonna get. I can't wait till we get the Roger backstory so we can really see what it was like. There seems to be a differing of opinions. Like, was he really about that shit or was he not? People think, some people think he's all talk. Some people piss their pants just hearing his name, like some Voldemort Madara shit. Like, he instills fear just the name. Others just think it's kind of like a joke, so I don't really know. Who's this Garp? I was about to say, is this Garp on vacation? <laughs> His Tommy Bahama shirt and shit? I'm assuming him going around town asking all these Roger questions and getting beat up over it, he knows that Roger's his father. I just, it's so t I can't see Garp letting this happen, to be honest. It's tough decisions to make, because we already saw him go up there and essentially, like, not want to be involved. But now he's, like, taking a step to be involved. Like, is Garp going to be involved in this or what? Luffy's not getting care. I was about to say. Luffy's, he might be on his ass the rest of the time. Like, he might be TKO, but he's... 
He's gonna be in the vicinity until we see Ace's fate. What do you want to do? Juice him up again with the hormones? Is that what he's asking for? I'm assuming. It's gotta be. Got to be what he's gonna ask. God, I'd love to see him going crazy in here right now. I'll still never forgive the story for not having Fishman involved in this arc. Seems like a fumbled opportunity. And I also feel like... I feel like if Fishmen aren't going to be involved here, they're just never going to be involved in the story, right? I'm saying, like, actually involved, where, like, there's a Fishman crew of, like, actual stature and fear, and it's, like, a major player in the story. Um, I feel like if they're not involved here, like... I mean, I guess there's, there's 600 more episodes. Surely you could flesh out a Fishman crew and all these type of things. Um, I'm talking one out there, like, really fucking shit up. Like, that has a crew is out there on the seas, like, really doing it. So you're telling me Goku has a fro under that hat? Animation's changing a little bit. Animation just changed mid-episode. It's crazy. I mean, he's got to be asking to get juiced up again. Give me the steroid shot. Okay. We're getting a little bit of Ace. They're flushing it out a little bit. Hope they give us a little bit more. Yeah, I mean, he would have to know at that time period. If he's going around town getting the shit beat out of him every time he brings up Roger's name, surely. I think he just wants to know about his father. He's getting all types of stories. Oh no. We're having such a good episode. Oh no. Maybe Buggy's got a part to play. Oh. I thought Okaji just blinked right back on them again. Oh, I was about to say, how'd they get him unfrozen? That'll do it. You're lucky that didn't shatter him to pieces. Uh... Eh? So he fell in the hot water? How'd he get out? Someone's gotta grab him. see I'm just very curious truly curious if buggy and mr. three and this group here have an actual helpful part to play towards the story and the plot before this ends um, we'll see like are they gonna be are they gonna be of any use in a positive way or not. We'll see. Like I want, it's not even like... <laughs> I'm over here thinking like, oh, I wonder if Buggy will get redemption. I mean, he hasn't done anything wrong, but that's the thing. He hasn't done anything. <laughs> like, at all. Other than be comedic relief. And then you take us right back to this is crazy. See, he hit him too. Is that from something that Magma Boy just did? Or is this just like your sickness and shit is... It's a lot of blood. It's a lot of blood. He's just sick. That sickness. Is 
<sighs> and now you're screwed. Well, so much for that. Oh my god. Oh my god. Well, the only two we had actually of helpful use against the other admirals just got done and dusted. Animation change. This is... Oh my god. This has just been awful. <laughs> it has never looked good at all. And I have people trying to convince me that, like, Whitebeard could actually, like, because that, that was my argument before this started, like, oh, Whitebeard could actually go to war with this, with them. And it just didn't, it didn't make sense to me, just from a number and power output, power output standpoint, like, how Whitebeard could actually go to war. Like, yeah, we could start a war. Just because a war started doesn't mean it's actually competitive. Like, what the hell? If, like, a first world country starts a war with <laughs> some offshoot third world island or something like that. Yeah, we could, in the history books, it would go down as a war, but it was never... <laughs> shit was never competitive. And this shit has never been competitive at all. I feel like USA is just, like... <laughs> Fighting it out with like Cuba or the Bahamas or Jamaica or something like sh you might have one or two cool fighters, but this shit is not close. And the couple of like aces up your sleeve that you have, Marco, Juzo, Leader, and Whitebeard, like they can only take so much. You're just losing from a pure number standpoint. I don't have enough pieces to match the pieces. I was asking this five episodes ago how he was still standing. Makes no sense. I mean, story-wise, but... You're gonna have to juice him up again. We don't have a choice. He's not going to die. Just do it. Just do it. I don't know how it makes a difference. Um, him getting juiced up again to like get a little more out there, but they're falling apart. The little bit of hope that they have of Marco flipping, I don't know, Mihawk's counter over there, Juzo, Wiper, it's, it's not good, it's not good. I might as well die. Yeah. Yeah. Just do it. Y'all gotten those executioners up yet? Or are they still knocked out conveniently? Marco's screwed. This boy's frozen. And Whitebeard just took a molten punch to the chest. Alright. How long are we gonna do this back and forth? You know you're gonna do it, so just do it. Me as a viewer know he's gonna do it, so like, can we get it over with? What do you mean, trouble getting ready? He just needs to put some clothes on. That was not suspicious at all. Randomly cut to that for two seconds, and you say, I don't know what's taking the other guy so long, and then you don't show us the guy? That was not suspicious at all. We still don't even know who let us in, by the way, or unless the, the Marines let us in to try to kill two birds with one stone, but yeah. He's hulking out. 
He got that quick sensu bean. Here we go. I need him to go do that to Whitebeard for me. Kobe, what are we doing? Kobe, what are we doing? Kobe, what are we doing? You trying to stop Luffy? You want to have a chat? What, what are we doing? And I don't need Kobe getting in the way because we're on a time limit here. Mmm. Episode, episode, episode. Yeah, it's just not... It's not looking great. It's not looking great at all. Marco got dusted. And not to say that I don't know if Marco... I mean, maybe he could. Are we saying Marco could take... Okuji 101? Oh, oh, Marco wasn't fighting Okuji. If Marco could take Kazaru? I mean... They were stalemating, at least. Um, so who knows? The animation change is so crazy because they were like going in and out of animation change there. Um, yeah, I mean, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I don't really know what to say there. We didn't really get anything too crazy as far as seeing a new implement implementation of like hockey or seeing somebody use a logia in a different way that we haven't seen yet so nothing too crazy to really deep dive into theory or discussion wise with that episode other than whitebeard you know him coughing up the blood is that from whatever his condition or sickness is um is it from him being stabbed or is it just a combination of everything he's old he's not in his prime he's got a condition he got stabbed he's over here fighting you know, admirals and everything else, and it's just all just coming out. Um, I assume it's probably just a combination of everything. Um, again, with Luffy, though, just because you, he still, he still does not possess the power to get through, you know, 60, 70% of the people here. Um, in my opinion, that just gets him back up on his feet. Now, they are, like, really waning here. Like, you just saw Juzo get frozen. Um, Marco get hit with the light. Uh, Whitebeard's condition is taking over, and he just got a molten lava punch to the chest. So I'm sure that's great. Um, now, could you also block that with hockey? I don't know. I don't know the specifics on that. It's not looking good. So again, maybe if he's just like a little morale boost for the squad. Um, but it, the thing is, like, the others still need help. Like, Whitebeard, Juzo, Marco, they still need help. I don't see Luffy, like, blinking over there. Like, he still doesn't do anything, you know? Even if he ran over to Whitebeard right now, he still doesn't even know how to actually make physical contact with them. The three of them. Um, so I don't know. I do not know. They're giving us a little bit more base. I'm assuming he went around. He knew who his father was. And just try to gain any information on it. I am i don't know what Garp's going to do. I feel like maybe he just had a bunch of emotions boiling up and had to get a punch up out of his system. Um, but I don't know if he's really going to get down there and get his hands dirty. I don't know. Now, I'm curious. Maybe Juzo, Marco, and Whitebeard will rally. And you know who is going to have to step in front of Luffy. What could be interesting is if the one that's going to have to step in front of Luffy is going to be Garp. Because it's so fucked up. It's like, you you ask you got to ask it both ways. It's like, would Garp do something to like, I don't think Garp would ever kill Luffy. But would he do enough to like really put him on his ass? I'm saying like, cannot get up. I don't think Garp kill shots Luffy, you know. But would he do enough to make sure Luffy couldn't go any further? The flip side to that is like, would Luffy hurt Garp enough that he could get through him? I don't know. I'd have more... I guess if I had to put money on one side, I'd say Luffy would probably go out of his way to actually, like, seriously hurt Garp if it meant that he could save Ace. I don't know if Garp would seriously hurt Luffy if it meant stopping him, so... We'll see. That's pretty much all we got from this. Again, I don't know what Buggy has to play, what party has to play in this story. Um... 
If he's not going to do anything, I just hope they just stop showing him. That's not going to happen, but, eh. <laughs> but, um, leave it there and see. Appreciate it, everybody. Like, share, subscribe, and as always...